Hey guys, I'm here today uh, with a review on these, and these are the JBL E25 BTs. And if you've noticed, I look extra crispy today because I've got a hair light, uh, and that's because I've made a bounce board, and if you want to see that video, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and do it because it's crazy simple. Anyways, I'm going to start off this video with a tour around the device. So starting from the right, moving across, uh, just off the right earbud is the inline controls. Now they have the volume up, volume done, down, and a play pause button. Now unlike what I said in the unboxing, this is not a multi-function button. If you hold on it, it actually turns them off and on, and double tapping and triple tapping does nothing but pause and play really quickly. In the middle of the cable is what I th think is the battery, if not it's some sort of weight thing that you're meant to attach the clip on, but honestly it's actually really weird because of its like slightly larger size and heavier weight compared to the cable, it actually pulls on the back down the back of your neck so it makes the earbuds fall out a bit. Now this battery does have a little LED on it and once you first turn it on it'll flash white and then turn blue to kind of tell you that it's in pairing mode, but once it's connected, it just stays a solid white. Next up, I'm gonna hit you with some tech specs. So, the driver is 8.6 millimeters across. Its frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It has an impedance of 16 ohms, and it has a battery life of about eight hours, but I wasn't quite getting that, so your mileage may vary. And its weight is about 16 and a half grams. Next up, I'm going to talk about the things I like. Now, the number one thing I like most is that they're really quite light. In fact, they're so light that when I first put them on, uh, and I was wearing a polo shirt, so the battery thing was kind of sitting in the collar. I know, it looked really stupid, but that's further on. Uh, they were so light that I almost completely forgot that I was wearing them. So they're crazy light and quite comfortable. Also, they use what JBL calls their JBL signature sound, and I'm assuming that's just one of their equalization profiles, and it sounds really good. The highs are crazy crisp and clear. There's enough mids that you can hear more of the song than you normally do, and the bass is wonderfully rumbly, with just a little bit of muddiness that keeps it very pleasing. I don't think this is the most accurate sound, but it does sound very nice. Now back to what I said with quite a lot of bass, I was kind of understating. There's a lot of bass, and just for the sake of doing so, I hit them with some equalization uh, to amp the bass up just a little bit, and you could describe that amount of bass as headache inducing, literally. Now another thing that I like is the build. While it is plastic, it does feel quite nice and the braided cable also is quite nice. One more really big thing that I liked a whole lot were the included accessories. The carrying pouch is so satisfying to squeeze open, I will just sometimes sit there and just kind of open and close it lots and lots and lots. And the reversible USB cable is unbelievably useful because you don't have to worry about remembering which side that has which logo that you need to be plugging in. You just kind of shove it in there and it's always right. While there are high points, there are definitely some lows and one of them is definitely the looks. There's no soft way of putting it, but you look like an idiot when you wear these, especially when you have the clip on. The cables are a bit too long to have something attached to your neck, so they just kind of stick out and because the cables are not very heavy, it, they, it makes them stick out much more instead of kind of draping around your shoulders. Another somewhat annoying thing is the cable. And while I did say that I like the feel of the braided cable, when you're wearing a shirt, uh, it will actually, because it's braided uh, with fabric, it'll actually rub on your shirt and it sounds very weird and annoying and distracting while you're trying to listen to music. And that can also cause like a bit more friction so it'll kind of grab on your shirt a little bit and make them fall out of your ears a bit more. Another thing that I didn't quite like was the door covering the micro USB charging port. Because of the way they attached it, it doesn't feel very secure and it feels like it'll fall off and then you'll get stuff in your charging port, which is obviously not very good for their health. In the end though, I don't think these negatives are enough to weigh out the positives and I would definitely recommend them, especially at the price of $60, which I did pay because I pre-ordered them. That's really about it for this video and if you did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment how I can improve my videos in the future, suggest a video for me to do, uh, kind of like I said in the bounce board at the beginning of the video, if you want to see that, comment that and subscribe to my channel to get updated when I upload another video. I might have already said that, I don't remember. 
but thanks for watching. Bye!